and explain the show to me why you call it blind spot the blind spot with Juan Reina um so the blind spot it's not necessarily because it has to do anything with my vision and status it's mainly because of the simple fact that there are certain things going on in the world that you know we don't know uh, and even certain people nowadays aren't really looking into uh, especially certain things with history culture news uh, music arts all that stuff's uh, very crucial to our society on a whole to uh, build our culture so the blind spot is a simple name it's just to know is to know the things that you don't know the things that you are blind to What do you think about the the Cuban vaccine that's coming out now um, in terms of how Cuba is uh, striding towards going to making the vaccine through its third trial? Uh, the vaccine is called uh, Sober- Soberana 2. What's that in English? Uh, sovereignty. Wow, that's a great word. And you know the Cubans are always at the head uh, in terms of health. And we've discussed this a lot on but yes, I saw the, uh, the recent uh, news item where they are in their final stages and so And I was thinking, wow, can you imagine a country that has been so oppressed by a big neighbor to the north? Uh, and even in this time of COVID pandemic, they are not being given any support. The blockade continues, which has been going on for over 60 years. In my mind, I'm like, wow, can you imagine how incredible it is that the people of Cuba, the government of Cuba, the scientists, the doctors and everybody are still at the forefront of one of humanity's greatest challenges, which is this COVID-19. And they are at the front in line with bigger nations. And you see how bigger nations, what they do when they develop the vaccine, what they, what do they do with it? They initially race to race to see who can deliver the most dosage for the most amount of money. Uh, with a lot of these, <laughs> with a lot of these nations, especially the uh, US and EU, a lot of them they they tend to sort of race and give the most dosages. And see, the thing is with these with these vaccines that they have a lot of competition. Um, yeah. There are multiple vaccines being made according to this news article and you know Cuba has more than one uh, Cuba has uh, another prototype that they're also working on and they they claim to report that you know with this new vaccine and with the other prototype that's being developed it might you know even help them because you know the more of a vaccine you have the more chances to enhance that curability for the coronavirus Talk to me about the preparation process one. In terms of like... Uh, what, what you do, what how you get the information, how it's translated, how you practice, that kind of thing. Okay, so how I get the information, I usually get it via Word doc file. Uh, and then I usually um, read it on my phone via like Google Docs or something. Correct. Uh, how I get it translated is um, I use a screen reader on my phone to recognize the text that's being spoken to um, from the doc file to my own speaker and right. how I usually practice well that's uh, that's another story see um, I would read the line like a couple thousand times <laughs> thousand times indeed. over and over indeed uh-huh. uh, and then I I would uh, go back first of all I would go back and pick what register I would be doing it with, uh, for instance, with this history book, I'm mostly going yeah. uh, via a narrator perspective. So I'm talking like this and everything sounds all narrative. Uh, so when you think narrator voice, give me a little sample like what? Who will be the next warrior champion? Find <laughs> out on the next Street Fighter or something like that. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. So I would, I, I would usually... Um, Figure out which register I need the I need the um, book to go to, and then after which I would keep going with that line, 
if there are certain things, for example, uh, in certain lines, I might want to put the register up a bit. Mm. So, for instance, instead of going, the first people known to live in Belize were the Maya. I would not be going so so low. Uh -huh. uh, I would be going a little bit more higher. So, the first people known to live in Belize were the Maya. So, you know, it's uh, a slight uh, difference, yeah, but it's you a could slight feel. difference, but you could feel that uh, yeah. difference and change in the register and tone. Excellent. So. Snapchat, an update from Gilvano about pigtail. What have you heard about pigtail? Well, there are many tales being told about the pigtail. <laughs> <laughs> the most important one is, uh -huh. is, is the three little pigs. The <laughs> tales being told about them. Exactly, exactly. They got their tails cut off and now they're being used as food. Yes. <laughs> we couldn't get enough of them, no? Indeed. Yeah. What, what is the big thing going on? Um, I think last week pigtail came back on the menu, which was very crucial. Because it was it's in high demand, not just was, but still is in high demand. One, you realize this man is getting a free Belikin commercial. He has a huge Belikin on his chest. <laughs>